Hello there, today we are going to look into how I did this animation in Adobe After Effects. This is not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial, but an insight and a just look into the After Effects project so that you understand what are the things that make this happen. Kinetic Type Series. So, here we are. And this is the actual project uh, from where these animations came from. So it is a matter of, I have here like this video, okay? And here I have the exact same video, but duplicated. Let's solo it. And I'm going to start deselecting or disabling like the different effects so that you can see that this right here is just the same as this but with uh, a bunch of stacked effects there. So let's go. The final effect is dealing with the alpha channel and we are going to go up and then I'm going to explain them better. So stay there. So this is for alpha, you see here. Then this is only color. Then this also is alpha. This is also to extract parts of the image. Uh, taking in, into consideration the luminance. Then this is just uh, a tint to make it black and white, as you see. And this is just to contrast it. So let's start from the beginning. This is the video as it was, so to say. Uh, then I applied some levels to contrast it. Then I made it black and white. And here it starts to happen like the magic with this mosaic effect, okay? So here, the cool thing is that you can deal with the horizontal blocks and the vertical blocks to give it a different, like, looks, so to say. So I'm going to undo that, or maybe let's say that this is 10 per 55, something like that. And it is important that you activate the sharp colors option then this is also very very important because this is going to sit on top of the other video so this effect here the extract is important because with this one i'm extracting the parts that i don't want to see to, uh, that are visible i i want to hide some parts of the image and you need to deal with the lum luminance here and start playing with the black and white point to have you know something that you can work with so that's that but you see that some parts are not uh, totally extracted so we're going to de deal with those parts that are kind of transparent later on so i close this now with these levels what i'm doing is i'm just contrasting it again okay so it's a matter of having a better image and now i apply like the three tone like this is very very cool you can have like the highlights in one color the midtones and the shadows so that means that along the timeline with the changes it's going to feel like this kind of sound levels which i i love and then the last thing that i did you see this i i really hate when some parts are transparent because they don't feel very graphic to me so this last levels effect is dealing only with the alpha channel okay so to extract parts of the image uh, and that's pretty much it so it is uh, the main thing is the mosaic effect remember to put the sharp colors and then all the others are to deal with the visual aspect of it and with the transparency to generate some transparency so that when it sits on top of the other image it feels like it is interacting interacting with the original video but in a way it is not interacting but it is the same video with a lot of effects on top so that's it if you want a step-by-step -step tutorial about this effect uh, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to have it as soon as possible. See you in the next one. Kinetic 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 Kinetic